my name is Johnson Cerda. I am Quechua indigenous person from the Ecuadorian Amazon. I am the director of the DGM project, which is the dedicated grant mechanism of indigenous peoples and local communities. And we are working in 14 countries uh, around the world. Well, um, deforestation we have from different uh, actors. And one way in the communities in my region, we have from uh, the agriculture, because most of the people from the already deforested area in the coast, they have gone to the Amazon and they have taken the lands and they are uh, working with the coffee plantation, cocoa plantation, and sometimes with oil palm plantations. So that's one, and that have destroyed a lot of the forest and it's impacting our land. It's very close to our land. And then also the, um, um, the big companies, like oil companies in the Amazon, they also have like 10 or 15,000 hectares, very close to our community. They are not touching our land, but they are very close. And that um, affected a lot to, to our communities because the wildlife are going away and that's a concern of the community. So that type of deforestation uh, makes make two effects in the community. One is some communities, they try to make maybe a good life in the city. They go to the towns, but they realize that it's not a good way to escape from that situation because they need more money to survive in the, in the, in the cities or in the towns because they need for everything they need money. So the other way is that they are going deep in the forest escaping from these areas and sometimes these areas are left for other people to come to make agriculture and they are keep going to the interior going to the interior and 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 that is one of the problems because they are not having any kind of uh, uh, let's say services for education or or whatever other services the government provides or we have uh, in the communities but in this case they are just going and that is affecting, you know, the life of the communities because we are used to uh, one specific land. We know how to treat the land. We know how to live there. But um, that deforestation coming from the other parts is really affecting. That means also that, you know, when the deforest deforestation comes, also in the communities we try to do something like that. For instance, if they come from agriculture, we do some small agriculture as well. If they come from with uh, palm oil, we do a small pa palm oil plantation also. Not big ones, but small. So we try to replicate and also that affect the land that we have. So it's, it's, it's affecting a lot and, and pushing the people away from, from the communities. I can, I can tell you a couple of ways that it's affecting. Um, let's say from the family level. At the family level, uh, usually you have um, knowledge holders, especially women, they are knowledge holders, and they use the plants from the forest. And those are affected by the climate change because sometimes the, uh, in our case, the rainy season, uh, we have a specific, you know, time when the rainy season comes and, and, and finish, but sometimes it's too extend, or so sometimes it's too short. And that affects the specific plants some people are using for the medicinal purposes. So they are not finding any more, or they have few, and that is a problem for the family because they are not using those plants and they are not uh, finding a lot of those plants there in the community. The other uh, uh, impact in the community is also, uh, thinking in my own community, is that um, usually we used to have two big uh, uh, river uh, flooding and that means in our case that the water of the lake that we have in the community is a big lake and the water from the river connects with the with the lake and after that we have a lot of fish resources in the lake when it happens but just two times and this is interesting because also from the from our lake goes to the river so it's like an exchange what, what happened but that, that is usually two times in a year, in, in the month of April, and that happened. But lately, 
what I heard from my brothers that you know they are living in, in, in the community for a long time I mean daily they've seen that um, now it is happening like five times flooding but not big enough to cover as usually covers and connect with a lake so it's a small one now and five smalls and the exchange of the fish doesn't happen anymore so that means we have less fish in the in in, in the in the lake as a resources for the families and that is completely affecting to the community not just to one family to the community because we live there and we use a lot of the resources of the this this lake we have a lot of fish there but when that doesn't happen so we have less and that affects to the community they don't have much to eat and you know the problem is the health and the problem is that they need to get some money and they make agriculture and other effects comes after that so the third one is with the wildlife uh, I've heard about some research done around that because of the uh, temperature increase in some areas uh, the wildlife is moving from one area to another area so um, we can see in two scales so small scale and, and a big scale in small scale for instance um, the we eat several animals and I don't want to say which ones maybe it could affect <laughs> the feelings of people and w we see that those animals from the forest they are going to stay close to the rivers so they are going away from the traditional places where used to stay and going close to the rivers easy for hunters you know but it's complicated f for the um, uh, rainforest itself because the animals help to you know um, uh, regeneration and all of that in the forest and they are going just too close to the river and uh, we have less or few animals now in the, those areas and that is affecting let's say to the uh, to the forest the ecosystem and that's one one problem in that those areas the other problem I, we, we see is that uh, for instance animals are going away from a specific areas and since the communities they don't have uh, animals for hunting the communities are also going away from those areas so the climate change is affecting to these people to the communities in order to just you know move away trying to get their food in other area and live in some areas there that is basically areas where you don't can find any more enough resources to survive so we see in several levels that effects in the communities That is one of the complications in the, in the Amazon because all the area, sometimes we believe that it's, it's only the forest and there is no people there, but we have people there and we have people are using areas for hunting, using areas for spiritual purposes or for many purposes that we have in the community. And when a community goes there, a different people goes there, it's a conflict. Yes, absolutely. That is creating conflicts. and and. Uh, that is part of the problem that climate change is, is, is causing, yeah. I've heard, you know, not in my area, because in my area still we can manage, uh, um, uh, we can find resources, but in, all, in some areas I've seen that they are already having conflicts because, you know, communities are saying that, no, this is, you know, we want to go uh, to this area or this area belongs to us it's because they have more resources there and less resources in the communities that they come from so yeah that's creating problems yes absolutely first of all um, in the um, intended national determined contribution which is the contributions that the voluntarily each government has committed to do in order to reduce the emissions uh, they have identified some several sectors and one of the sectors is uh, land use and and I've seen that not all the countries are using that sector in order to reduce the emissions and some countries they, they are doing and that is important because that means for at least for indigenous people means that 
um, we need to talk with the government or the government need to talk with us in, in, ter in terms of land rights issues. The problem in, in our view is that the deforestation in the Amazon is, is because sometimes we have lands that we are claiming and the government has interest to implement a project like plantation or palm or, or other type of projects and then also interest from other sectors to take that those lands. So it's a conflict situation and at the end that in apps, you know, th that area in apps cleared, deforested area. So what we believe is that it's important to have a clear um, land titling process and then if as indigenous peoples we have the land titling we believe that we will protect that area and we will continue managing as we've been doing for a long time using small areas for yeah, agriculture for survive you know to survive but uh, in general to protect the forest so we we believe that land titling is one of the important process and i recognize that some countries have included in their uh, uh, sectors uh, that that part of land that issue so it's important um, we would like to see more countries, including in their um, uh, reporting, additional, you know, to what they have, this sector of land, uh, resor land, land or resources, or I mean, or uh, the sector of uh, forest, land, and land tenure as a key element. So it's there, but we still need to do the work, right? So that's one with in terms of forest. Um, in terms of uh, well, in general, in climate change, it is uh, let's say they have several sectors. We are concerned on basically um, let's say some of the countries they have identified hydropowers like options to reduce the emissions. Uh, the position of indigenous peoples is that. We have some concerns with the hydropowers because that is affecting the lands of indigenous peoples. So I've been reading that we are against the big hydropowers, maybe small ones. I don't know if that's acceptable in some cases, but the big, big ones, big ones, certainly is affecting uh, indigenous peoples' lands, and that is a concern that we have. So the countries they are with this sector trying to reduce the emissions, but they are affecting the rights of indigenous peoples, the rights to their land, the rights to uh, free informed consent, the rights to, you know, to get their own food there or live in the healthy ecosystem. Yeah, we can <laughs> name several of those rights. And then, you know, you have several uh, um, uh, sectors that governments has identified. So, yeah, those are the, the ones that I can identify. Um, here in Bonn, Substa 44, the demands are basically to create uh, two things. One is um, in-session technical workshops in order to talk about the indigenous people's knowledge and how the knowledge can contribute to the efforts of reducing the emission and adaptation in the framework of the uh, Paris Agreement. So that is one specific demand in order to provide as a support from indigenous peoples to the global effort with our indigenous people's knowledge. The second one, uh, which is also something that the governments are proposing here, is to create a platform where we can, you know, create maybe expert groups, we can create other activities in order to, as a non-state actor, we can contribute also to the effort that we are doing, you know, as a, uh, as, as part, parts interested of this climate change. So uh, those are the main things that I, I've seen that we are working on a lot, but also, um, you know, we are saying that we want to participate, uh, we want to have full and effective participation here, we want the governments to recognize the 
a free prior and informed concern in the implementation of the project when it is affecting indigenous people that's another demand so we have basically uh, the demands we had in the past in relation to project is still there because there are basic ones like the recognition also of the traditional um, governance system and and our practices in general so those are still there but the specific ones are those as i said the in session technical workshop and also this platform that can embrace several other activities including an expert group of indigenous peoples